Hi, today I'm going to show you how to use the simple start and stop drag in ActionScript 2.0. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to email me at freeadobeflashtutorials at gmail.com. Um, if you want to watch other tutorials, um, read some articles, and get some links to some other great Flash tutorial web pages, check out my website at www.freeadobeflashtutorials.com. Okay, the start and stop drag is a great way to add some interactivity to your Flash applications. Um, and I'll just give you a really easy example how to do this. First of all, we need a couple objects. So I'm just going to draw a couple things. Let's just get a box in a circle. First thing we need to do is we're going to change our objects into a movie clip by pressing F8. Um, just like this. Turn them both into movie clips. I'll go ahead and give this one an instance name of box underscore MC and this as circle underscore MC. Now what we're going to do is start a new layer, put it on the bottom, and we're going to put our action script in this layer. Okay. Go to window at actions, or if you have your action script already open up, we're going to use the start drag and stop drag functions. What we want to do is, as when a user presses down on the box or on the circle, um, we want them to be able to control where the box or circle goes, so they can actually move it around with their mouse. And then, as soon as they release the mouse click, the box or circle stays where it's supposed to. So, let's call on our movie clip boxmc dot on press equals function open close parenthesis open curly braces and in here when we press on the box we're going to call on this function we're going to just go ahead and say this dot or period start drag open and close parenthesis so uh, we want to do the same thing for the circle. On press equals function. This start drag. So if we tested our movie right now, what would happen is as soon as we clicked on one of these, it attaches to our mouse, but there's no way to let it go because it there's no way to stop the drag. So Let's type that in now. Box mc dot on release equals a new function where we're gonna have this stop drag. Let's go ahead and copy that and paste it. Change this to circle. So now what we have, so when we press on the box, it's going to call on this function to start drag. This is just going to take on, uh, by typing in this, it takes on the object that it's inside of. And the circle is going to act the same. And then as we release the mouse click, it's going to stop our dragging function. Let's test our movie. So you can see is we can move the box anywhere we want to as long as our mouse click is pressed down. And as soon as we let it go, it's changed its position. And now we can arrange these objects however we'd like. And there's a lot more uh, there's a lot more things we can do with it later on, but this is just a very basic example of the start and stop drag functions in ActionScript 2.0. Thanks. If you have any questions or um, comments, feel free to email me. If you want to learn more about some things about Flash, check out the website at www.freeadobeflashtutorials.com. Thanks.